Hey, Dr. Amy here. If you're preparing for radiation treatment, or if you've already had your radiation treatment, then there's something you need to know. Radiation is often brushed off as the easy part of treatment. Easy breezy no problem. But that's where most cancer survivors go wrong. Radiation comes with a very specific set of challenges. If you're not prepared, this can completely derail your recovery. So in this video, I'm showing you six things that no one tells you about radiation treatment. By watching this video, you can save yourself so much unnecessary discomfort and pain. Let's start with the side effect of radiation that hits the hardest. This is not what you you think. Exhaustion. But exhaustion takes a while to show up after you've started radiation and it takes even longer to resolve. So follow these tips. Now this is not the kind of exhaustion that you feel like when you're just tired. This is bone deep fatigue that makes it hard for you to get off the couch. Most people mistakenly think that radiation is localized. So the side effects will be localized too. But what no one tells you is that radiation impacts your whole body. The reason is that you're getting hit with radiation every single day for weeks. That accumulative effect takes a toll, both physically and emotionally. Just getting to the hospital every day for radiation can drain you. But then add the internal inflammation and tissue damage that cancer can cause. And your body is working over time, every single day to heal. The worst part is that exhaustion doesn't peak until after you finish radiation. Many women feel fine for the first two weeks of radiation. Then they suddenly crash in week three and four, or even a week after their last radiation session. So here's how to protect yourself. Start prioritizing your recovery before you start your treatment. Do this before you feel side effects. The most important thing you can do is to fuel your body properly to support healing. If you want personalized and strategic help with eliminating radiation side effects, then click the link below to apply to work with me inside the Cancer Freedom Program. I've helped over 500 women completely eliminate side effects and stay cancer free for life. Click the link below to apply now. Okay, but here's the other thing that's going to surprise you about radiation. You won't necessarily feel anything when you're getting radiation, but your skin is going to feel a difference later. Radiation burns are real. But look, these burns, they don't show up right away. In fact, most women don't even start seeing side effects like peeling or redness or radiation until they've been about two to three weeks into radiation. Some don't even see it until after they're done radiation. Now, depending on where you're being treated, it's not necessarily visible irritation. If your treatment includes your breast, your chest, or your armpit, area, then this could actually be irritation caused by friction too. Places like under your breasts or in your cleavage, these are hot spots. So here's what I want you to do. Switch to fragrance-free and ointment-based creams. I love an ointment like Aquaphor and I want you to apply it early and apply it often, even if your skin looks fine. Also wear loose clothing so your skin doesn't get rubbed and irritated. Just say goodbye to underwire bras for now and keep the area dry and clean and avoid rubbing at all costs. Because once the skin breaks down, it is harder to reverse. Okay, but let's talk about something almost no one is gonna warn you about. And that's the emotional crash. Radiation is often the last stage of treatment. And that's exactly when it hits you. The what actually happened to me. You've spent months in survival mode, surgery, chemo, and now radiation. And then suddenly, it's over. You're alone with your thoughts, and this can be terrifying. Many women have shared with me that the moment they rang that bell, they thought they would feel relief, but instead, they just felt anxiety, panic, and grief. Radiation can definitely trigger that identity shift from cancer patient to cancer survivor, and nobody teaches you how to navigate that. So here's my advice. Do not wait for this crash. Get support ahead of time, and if you're in it, get support now. You've had support every step of the way through your treatment. Doctor's appointments, blood work, nurse navigators. It makes total sense for you to want and need support now in survivorship. You're not crazy, you're human. And this is part of your healing. Okay, 
But here's something many people don't find out until it's too late. You might be delaying your surgery without even knowing it. If you're planning any kind of reconstructive surgery, like implants or a flap surgery, then radiation can delay that surgery by a lot. Radiation continues to affect your tissue for months after it ends. It's tightness in the skin, it's altered blood flow. If you rush into surgery too soon, the result might be that you just don't heal properly. Then you might have to have another surgery later for revisions. I know it's frustrating. You want to feel whole again, but trust me, waiting six to 12 months after you finish radiation can make a huge difference in how your body responds. So have this conversation with your surgeon ahead of time. Map out a timeline that works for you and your treatment and give your body time to fully recover. Okay. You might think hydration was important during chemo, but nope, it's way more important during radiation. Radiation does not come with IV bags. Your body still needs fluids to heal and detox. Dehydration can make everything worse. Fatigue, skin issues, even your sleep quality. So here's exactly what I tell women inside the Cancer Freedom Program. Start with eight to 10 cups of total fluid every day. Here's what I mean by this. This can be water, herbal tea, flavored water, broths or soups. And here's a tip. Pair your water with meals. If you're having lunch, there should be a full glass of water next to you. This allows for better absorption in your body. Now, hydration is the simplest and the most powerful way that you can recover from radiation. Okay, but this one shocks almost everyone. The side effects can get worse after you're done. Just because your last radiation session is over, doesn't mean the side effects just stop. They actually get worse before they get better. The exhaustion we talked about, well, that peaks one to two weeks after you finish your treatment. The skin irritation, same thing. Redness and peeling and irritation, it can intensify after your treatment ends. Radiation keeps working inside your body after the machine is turned off. It's like a ripple effect. If you plan a big vacation or trip to celebrate being done radiation, I would advise you to hold off one to two weeks. Otherwise, you might not have the best time. So here's the truth. Give yourself a grace period, at least two weeks after your last session before making any major and big changes. That's still your healing window. Rest, recover, let your body catch up. Okay, so now you know more and you know better. And when you know better, you wanna heal smarter. You wanna know exactly how to fuel your body and heal after radiation, what to eat, what to avoid, how to boost your recovery. If that's you, then click the link here and I'm gonna show you the best diet for cancer recovery. Click the link here and I'll see you in the next video.